Welcome guys to one more experimental video of Biohub. It's about the process of osmosis and it is taken from chapter 5, the fundamental unit of life from science textbook of class 9. This video will give you a complete insight about theoretical as well as practical aspect of osmosis. The aim of this activity is to demonstrate the process of osmosis with the help of raw and boiled potato tubers. Before starting with the activity, let's know about meaning and importance of osmosis. Osmosis is a special type of diffusion. During this process, solid molecules, basically water, passes across the semi-permeable cell membrane from one cell to another. This movement of solvent molecules depends upon the solute concentration inside and outside the cell or between the two cells. Osmosis has two subtypes. Exosmosis where the movement of solvent or water it takes place outside the cell and endosmosis where the movement of water takes place into the cell. Now coming to the importance of osmosis in plants. Osmosis helps in absorption of water and dissolved minerals through roots. It keeps all the living cells turgid, regulates the opening and closing of stomatal pores and it also plays a significant role in ascent of sap. So it's time to begin with the practical part of this process. To carry out this activity, you need two medium sized raw potatoes, one boiled potato tuber, common sugar, common salt, distilled water, a knife, a cutter, a pair of scissors, a small spoon or small spatula, one marker, and one lab tray or any shallow and flat container. Coming to the procedure. Step 1. Make potato cubes from raw potato. Always start with the raw potato tuber. Take one raw potato tuber. Cut it into two halves. Take one half of it, cut its other end to make it flat. Cut the sides as well, then trim and slice out one cube as shown here. Keep this potato cube in the petri dish. And pick up the other half of potato. Proceed in the same way and make two more potato cubes of more or less same size. Step 2. Carve a cavity in each raw potato cube. Hold the raw potato cube firmly. Start scooping it out in the center carefully to make a deep cavity in it. Proceed patiently to ensure that none of its sides or base should get ruptured while making deep cavity. With this, one potato cup is ready. Proceed in the same way and Carve out rest of the two potato cubes to transform these into potato cups containing broad deep cavity in the center. You can see three potato cups are ready. Keep these aside. Step 3. Make a potato cube from the boiled potato. Hold it gently and remove its skin. As you know viewers, boiling makes potato tubers soft and tender. So proceed very carefully. Cut both its ends 
to make it flat. Slice the sides as well to transform it into a potato cube. Step 4. Scoop a cavity in the boiled potato cube. Scoop out this cube patiently and steadily to make a cavity in its center. Remember viewer, be extra careful while carrying out this step. Here you have to doubly ensure that none of the sides or base should get ruptured. With this three raw potato cups and one potato cup made out of boiled potato tuber are ready. Setting up of the experiment. For this in addition to raw and boiled potato cup, we need sugar, salt and water. While setting up the experiment, label these potato cups as A, B, C and D. Potato cup A, it will serve as control in this experiment. Control means it will be kept as such empty throughout the experiment. This one will be our potato cup B. In this small amount of sugar is poured. Coming to third potato cup, put roughly same quantity of common salt in it. The fourth one is the boiled potato cup. But before going to that, keep label up potato cup C at its respective place. Now put same quantity of sugar in boiled potato cup. Here you may use salt also, choice is yours. Label this potato cup as D. Now gently place these in one shallow tray like this one. Pour distilled water in it. The water level should be one third of the height of potato cups. Note the observation immediately after setting up the experiment. Potato cup A, it's wet slightly. Potato cup B, sugar crystals are intact. Potato cup C, as of now common salt is in powdered form only. Potato cup D, no visible change in sugar crystals. Keep the experimental setup undisturbed for 15 minutes and then note the status of all these potato cups. Now 15 minutes are over. Potato cup A is slightly wet but no accumulation of any liquid is noticed. Potato cup B, sugar is gradually getting dissolved due to inward movement of water. Potato cup C, Accumulation of liquid and dissolution of salt is visible. Potato cup D. Sugar crystals are slightly wet but no accumulation of liquid. Recheck the status of potato cups after 30 minutes. No change in cup A and D but slightly more accumulation of liquid is visible in cup A. C and D. In this experiment, you have noticed the inward movement of water. This type of movement of water across the semi-permeable membrane is called endosmosis. Close-up of comparative analysis also reveals that cup A, which was controlled, no accumulation of liquid in potato cavity. 
means no osmosis. Cup B, gradual inward movement of water from outside into the cup due to difference in solute concentration reported. Cup C, here also similar inward movement of water is clearly visible. Cup D, no such accumulation of liquid is visible. From the above observations, we can conclude. Osmosis takes place due to difference in solute concentration inside and outside the cell. Osmosis operates only in living cells. Dead cells like boiled potato cells, they cannot carry out osmosis. While performing this experiment, you have to take a few precautions and these are First, the cavity should be deep enough to keep the base and the walls of the potato thin. Second, cup made from boiled potato should be handled carefully, lest it breaks. Third, handle knives, blades with caution. So that's it about this experiment. Those who are interested in extended learning about osmosis, they can watch this video. Its link is given in the description box. See you soon with one more experimental video. Till then, keep exploring and keep learning. Good luck!